you or anyone near the brain sciences are aware that uh, there's a huge project now, a government project in the United States to uh, map the human brain, you know, find out all the neuronal connections of those 10 to the 10th neurons and somehow some kind of magic is going to come out of that. The chance that anything will come out of it is pretty slight. I mean, uh, it takes a uh, insect, okay, much easier to study than humans. Like a, a bee, for example, has uh, about 800,000 neurons. It's a brain the size of a grass seed. Uh, there's a couple hundred species, so you have a lot of comparative evidence. Uh, there's a gestation period of about three days, so you can, you know, you can grow them and raise them the way you like. You can do any kind of experiment you like. You don't have to have a consent form if you take a bee apart. <laughs> And so it's a perfect, uh, a, a perfect uh, object of inquiry. Nobody understands how the bee's brain is doing these extremely complex uh, computational uh, tasks that humans can't perform. Uh, bees can do all kinds of navigation that we can only do with instruments. How do they do it with this tiny little brain? Well, it's a, hard, a very hard problem. It hasn't been solved. Uh, there are some of the leading uh, scientists in the field, people like Rodolfo Linas, some of you might know at NYU, and for years has been studying one neuron. There's a big neuron in the giant squid, and he's been studying that neuron to try to figure out how on earth does it distinguish between a predator and food, let's say. That turns out to be a very hard problem. Uh, I mentioned that there's a huge literature on what's called evolution of language. Uh, take a look at the literature on evolution of bee communication. A vastly simpler topic, almost no literature. Of course, scientists understand it's just too hard. Right? Okay, getting back to the brain project. Suppose you could map all the neuronal connections of these 10 to the 10th neurons. What would you know? Probably nothing. You know. Uh, you may not even be looking at the right thing. Uh, there's all kinds of things going on in the brain uh, apart from neuronal connections. Uh, just getting a lot of data and uh, you know statistics and so on in itself just doesn't tell you anything. I mean, that's been the fate of the Genome Project. There were lots of expectations at first, a lot of propaganda about how when you decoded the genome, we'd have wonderful cures for all kinds of diseases and so on. Well, you know, it's a valuable project, things have been learned, but uh, the, the transition from a genome to an organism is extremely complex. And knowing the genome doesn't, doesn't answer how it happens.